an emphatic win today. You must feel relieved. Yeah, lovely to get our first home win of the season. Um, and obviously the circumstances, uh, going down to 10 men after about three or four minutes, uh, absolutely fantastic effort from, from the lads. And um, yeah, you know, obviously you fear the worst. We then went behind quite early from a set piece and you just kind of then think, is it going to be an, uh, one of those days again and, and we're going to struggle? But magnificent character and, and some just standout performance. Obviously Reese with a hat-trick, just a constant fawn in their side all day and Hippo on the other side, exactly the same. So. Um, a real fantastic team effort, but obviously those two, with, you know, the bits of quality that they've got, have, have really sort of won the day for us today. After an early red card, did you have to make changes to adapt to the game? Um, well, yeah, you do. Obviously, we had to sacrifice Ryan, and that's an unfortunate thing. But we just felt we'd be too open if we didn't have the shape of a four and a four, so we had to do that um, straight away. Um, but we said at half time, you know, I said to them that it. As long as we kept our shape, we would be okay because I didn't think they were particularly. They weren't going to carve us open. It was going to be by us being ill-disciplined and them getting, you know, picking us off and then creating an overload. So it was just about being patient defensively and making sure that we we, we rushed them into mistakes, if you like, and made them make mistakes on the ball. And then we were able to break with the pace and the quality that we had. So it, in a roundabout way, sort of fell into our hands a little bit in terms of they came at us probably more than they might have done if it was 11 v 11, which then enabled us to count on them and cause them problems. What approach did you take at half-time with the score was level on one? So the, pretty much that. Obviously, we had to be mindful that 10 against 11 for 90 minutes, which it pretty much was. We, we, had, you know, we weren't going to be necessarily possession-based the second half. It was going to be making sure we were well-organised, disciplined when we didn't have the ball. Um, but with that, you have to carry a threat. And... You know, I've mentioned Reese and, and Adam. I have to mention Toby Hillard as well, who up front for 90 minutes done a fantastic job in terms of competing, running, around, you know, harrying them, making them make mistakes, defending from the front, and then when it went into him, having that quality to also be a threat and behind, but also when it comes into him, look after the ball and bring others into play. And I thought his performance was a really unselfish performance, but was so, so important for the team. And like I say, I'll go back to the two wide men with them in the side, you know, we've always got that attacking threat, no matter, you know, if we've not got the numerical advantage. Obviously, as you mentioned, the hatchet for Reese Logan today. Just how good is he at times when he's on his game? Reese is brilliant. Um, he's a fantastic player. And I, I, I'll be honest, I look at him and Hippo and I think they stand out at this level when they're on it. And there's not many players, you know, I'll throw Toby into that mix as well as an attacking player and, and, and Crispy when he's on it. We've got some really good attacking players, really good attacking players. And I think them two today just showed what they are capable of. Um, you know, in 1v1 situations, their pace, their trickery. Reese is a confidence player and, you know, it's been, he's been injured at the start of the season and probably not quite found his level that he's you know, used to playing that in terms of his quality. But he, today and, and, and last week at Grays, he's now starting to probably get rid of his injury and, and, and now start to show what he's about and, and he was absolutely outstanding. To do that at this level, it, 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 you have to be quite a special player at this level to do that. Is this a standard you'd like to set for the rest of the season? Of course, yeah. I mean, of course we do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a monkey off our back in terms of we haven't won at home and obviously now we have. So that takes a little bit of pressure off because subconsciously that is in people's, you know, in their minds and, and we were aware of that. So that's, that's nice to get that out of the way. Um, and we always looked at November. We knew we had quite a difficult start with the teams we were playing against. Um, I think of the teams we've played, the only team up until today that we've played below us was Cambridge City, and they're a decent side. So um, we've had a, a relatively difficult start, and we always looked at November and felt that's where we've you know, got to start winning games. And today at home to Whitham, and it's no disrespect to Whitham, but we, we identified it as a game that you know, it's not, not good enough to draw that game. We, we need to win, and hopefully now we we've, 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 you know, can start a really positive run. And, and obviously get ourselves in and around where we want to be in the table. Well, I'll take that. Top man. Cheers, well, thank you.